Hello everybody and welcome back to our Fat Fact series. I'm Ted, your host, and for this Fat Fact, we're going to look at the bombing campaigns or the bombing raids um, that uh, that that um, occurred during World War II. Uh, and to begin with, let's look. We will look at the um, the Blitz, as uh, as um, the uh, the British referred to the Nazi attack, the Luftwaffe. Uh, their bombing campaign in London, Coventry, and Birmingham that was designed to cow and intimidate the British population turn against the war and to accept um, Nazi overlordship. And then we'll also look at the um, the, the flip of that, the uh, Anglo-American bombing campaigns that uh, in particularly targeted uh, Hamburg and Dresden. Um, and uh, to begin with, during the, uh, had the Battle of Britain began, the Nazi um, fleet was really unable to uh, land troops. Was not really unable to uh, to get troops in uh, in to, to land on on uh, the British Isles themselves. So what they took to doing was they simply had uh, bombers fly over British uh, population centers and bomb them. Uh, the bombings of London, in particular, uh, live on in infamy. Has uh, many British. Um, Many of uh, the Londoners and and other Englishmen remember it with uh, with, with distinct hostility that uh, that they were targeted in such a way. Um, uh, the Luftwaffe campaign largely failed because it it. Uh, it, it took away one of the greatest aspects of, uh, of war and really conquest. You can attack, you can besiege, but attacking and besieging do, uh, do not really um, grant you victory. You need troops on the ground to hold, occupy, and maintain uh, the areas that, that you seek to conquer, that, that you seek to add to your list of conquest. The lack of troops on the ground really, um, really... Uh, really sort of doomed it um, the, and, and throughout the entire bombing campaign through all, all the de the devastation and the deprivation that the population endured they resolved even more to put up an even uh, to put up an even stiffer fight uh, they, they resolved to, to fight harder longer um, to uh, to uh, to withhold victory from their foe um, and, and the campaign largely failed um, the blitz the blitz of London um, uh, it, it largely failed, uh, and on the uh, the flip of that, the uh, the Anglo Americans, when they were uh, finally beginning to um, put pressure on the Germans uh, along their western front, along the Rhine River, uh, in lieu of traditional troops on the ground, um, they they had tried they they had tried uh, an early attempt on a fortified Dutch position held by the Nazis and they and it, they'd, uh, they they failed miserably in their attempt to take it and they had suffered high casualties so it, it turned them away it, it turned them off to uh, the prospect of fighting any sort of war in that manner um, they themselves turned to a bombing campaign and the exact same rhetoric that Hitler had spoke of of uh, demoralizing the civilian population and turning them against war and making them more predisposed, more favorable to peace, they tried to to, uh, to employ that same logic. And the British, Winston Churchill and his advisors, they should have known because it, it the, uh, the the London Blitz had no, they did not have that effect. It did not certain, it did not suddenly make London or think, wow. Uh, George the Sixth and Winston Churchill don't know what they're talking about. Let's surrender. Let 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 not resist Adolf Hitler. Um, they they uh, they foolishly bought into it and they conducted these campaigns. And far from uh, forcing the the, uh, the local German population from abandoning uh, any sort of uh, resistance and just surrendering to uh, to um, the the, uh, the Anglo American forces, it. It uh, it deepened their resolve to resist at every uh, every stance. Um, the other uh, the the, the uh, campaigns on Hamburg and Hamburg was a major industrial center for the Germans. Um, uh, Hamburg was bombed. Uh, the civilian population did not surrender. The uh, the people there did not despair. Uh, the Germans, uh, the Nazis, actually did a very remarkable thing. They devolved a lot of their industrial. Um, capacity to the countryside. They, they simply spread it out. They made it more difficult. Uh, Hamburg would still be bombed, but it would not have such a devastating industrial um, in, in, uh, impact. It did not uh, incapacitate their ability to create war material. 
uh, and at Dresden, Dresden had no uh, military industrial capacity, no military industrial significance or value at all. It simply became a place where refugees who did not want to be in cities where bombing, where um, bombing campaigns or bombing raids were being uh, were, 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 were being conducted, they simply fled to Dresden. And uh, in one of the acts that still loom large as far as unanswered war crimes by the Americans and other allies, the Anglo-Americans conducted a bombing raid on Dresden. Um, uh, the Zeta Vega population uh, was hit pretty hard. Um, and, and, and with these bombing campaigns by the, uh, by the Anglo-American forces, it wasn't so much the bombing um, that, that did significant damage. Uh, the bombing simply destroyed some buildings and created a lot of rubble. It would be a very big, large cleanup effort. But what really did it and what the bombing campaign, but the fact that you will first be hit with bombs, with actual war bombs, and then you will be hit by incendiary bombs. And an incendiary bomb simply creates a fire. So you have, on one hand, you had the destruction and all the rubble, um, uh, that that would be left by the first bombing, and then the incendiary bomb would come in and set everything ablaze. So you would have a firestorm, um, and and that was really the uh, the devastating impact of, of the bombing campaigns. But as I as I said with the London uh, bombing, the London Blitz, uh, they they did not have the effect that the attackers had hoped for. The attackers would attack. Um, around the clock, the Anglo-American um, forces would attack during the day and during the night. And the British, uh, the German population did not surrender, they did not suddenly uh, lose heart. They became more resolved to fight this war to the end, to resist their attackers. Um, and that is my quick fast fact on the, uh, on the bombing campaigns. Um, and, and, uh, and as I said, the, uh, the actions at Dresden and Hamburg uh, really, um, had dressed in a particular really loomed large in the, uh, the unanswered war crimes, so to speak. The, uh, direct and open targeting of a civilian population. Um, but, uh, but hit like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought about this fast fact. And I am Ted, and I will see you guys next time for another fast fact.